hi, is uh, Charlie there? And your wife will go, no. No, I'm serious. I'd, I'd call her before they do it. Sorry, they, I'm, they, not, I'm not laughing. But no, I, no, I mean, they do this to most reporters. No, it's serious. They'll go, but I, I understand. But it sounds like a joke when I do it. The point is, hi, is Charlie there? No, he's not going to leave a message. Well, yeah, who's this? Well, this is his wife, Mrs. Skelton. That's impossible. I'm pregnant with his baby, and 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 and, and we're and, and we and you know we're engaged. And then and then the woman will start crying and saying, "Well, I'll give you my you know." And then and then they'll call up. If you have a little dog in the backyard, they'll say, "I'm watching your little white dog right now." You're like, "Excuse me." And then your wife looks out the window and the dog's there and goes, "Yeah." And that's when I'm going to stab you and rape you. So, I mean, oh, it's crap. the government. They're watching the dog while they do it. I mean, it's real, bud. These people call your call your women up. So I just want you to know these are hardcore criminals you're dealing with. I mean, take Zbigniew Brzezinski wrote a book two years ago bragging that w what we already knew, he funded Pol Pot to kill 35% of the Cambodian population. Th these guys, these guys, Mr. Skelton, write books bragging about who they've murdered. You understand? I mean, so... It's Go it's ahead. a very interesting point what you're making there is that a lot of a lot of the documentation a lot of the ideology uh behind uh you know the uh, the shift towards globalization it's it's been printed it's open, it's out in the open it's kind of so big uh, the point i was making i think in one of my pieces it's so big and so much out in the open people don't see it they're not reading the right books they're not seeing the thinking that's behind it which is you know it's been published it's you know there are papers there are books you know uh, but the, the ideology is out there for everyone to see. And also, you know, if you can, for one moment, take your eyes off, uh, you know, American Idol and the X Factor, uh, you, can, you can see changes happening ever so slightly, incrementally, all the time around you. But the problem is you, you, people just don't have to... It's becoming... I, I genuinely think it's psychologically impossible for a lot of people to notice and to think and to, and to see. I, I, I do. And it's, that's one of the great horrors. It's, they've made, they've rendered us stupid. Well, most reporters get those calls that, that go, that actually go to Bilderberg. So I'm just giving you a warning to let her know since you're online to just, well, just laugh Hannah, it off when you, they you call. You had your warning, Hannah. Okay, okay, so she's listening. Now, now, uh, we appreciate your time. Do you have a website, books, writings, stuff you want to point people at? Um, uh, uh, apart from yours, um, no, no, do you know what? I'm, uh, you know, I might start writing some more things on this subject. It's the first time I've, this is the first time I've tackled this subject in any way. And, you know, it's certainly, I didn't set out to Athens thinking I'd be detained twice by the police. So, I, you know, I might write some more. Then again, I don't want my dog threatened. So, you know, I might just go back to writing jokes about it. Well, anyone. no, they're not threatening the dog. They, they will tell you, oh, you're, you're there, just made yourself, it looks like, is that coffee or tea you're making there? Hello? Excuse me? And you've got the, and you're like, wondering how they're right. looking at you. And it's like, that's right, bitch. I'm going to stab you and rape you to death. How's that sound? So I'm saying, and they'll say it just yeah. like that. So I'm just trying to give you an idea who these people are. This, I'm telling you, Mr. Skelton, I've been down the rabbit hole. You're starting to go down it. And, I, and, 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 and you've, you've opened up your first step into a wider world. And there's good things and there's bad things about it. But I, I'm, I'm just letting the listeners know, too, for folks, you know, you ever wonder about the New World Order and who they are? These are murdering criminals. And these are the bankers, we have this from inside Bilderberg, that are engineering the financial collapse. We said that three years ago today. We said they were going to engineer it, how they would do it, what they do with the stock market. We broke it all down. They rule the planet. And so we are here. This is happening. This is going on right now. And so... Uh, I just just want you to know that this is very, very serious. And the cop on the beat, he's just taking you to jail. He's probably not a bad guy. He's on a power trip. That cop yeah. is compartmentalized, too. His family's being destroyed. His future's being destroyed. His world's being destroyed by the very bankers he's criminally protecting. You know, he has to break a law and violate your free speech under the EU charter and under the laws of Greece. He, they break the law and keep taking you to jail. Beat the rap, can't beat the ride. So they're committing yeah. crimes to destroy their own futures. I've just thought of a book I'd like to recommend. What book is that? Well, it's a little bit odd. You, you might think me recommending it, but uh, I picked up a copy of the diaries of Goebbels, the uh, German propagandist from World War II, one of the most evil men of all time, but also one of the most brilliant psychologists. And these, these papers were rescued 
uh, after the war and uh, almost by chance. And what, what's revealed in his diaries is just one of the early exponents of propaganda, of mind manipulation, of the population control, giving and taking, guiding the, the public mind. And it's an extraordinary read. And I recommend everyone to, to just have a look at it because you read it and you go, my God, this guy is, is you know, he's one of the groundbreakers there. He's, he's one of the groundbreakers. Well, you know, who he's, he's you, know who he, you know who he cited? He cited Edward Bernays. Uh, so I heard he, that today, actually, funnily enough. Yeah. Oh, so you were, you were reading them? Yeah, I've, I've actually read part of those. I didn't have time to read the whole whole book. Which, which book do you have? There's two books that I know of that have the writings of... Uh, do you know what? I don't know. It's an old, it's an old passage. Joseph Goebbels, the uh, Nazi propaganda galleider. Stay there. Let's do one more segment. Oh, Charlie Skelton, you're a smart guy. Write up London Guardian. Uh, write for a lot of big publications. I'm not here preaching at you. I'm just telling you, I've been there. I've seen it. I can't believe how evil the globalists are, but they revel. They one-up each other on who is the most ruthless, who is the most corrupt. And Edward Bernays and Joseph Goebbels, that's 80-year-old stuff. You know, when they were really uh, in their heydays. And it's all being used today, but even more sophisticated. They fuse more than 100 different types of propaganda together where I can't even articulate it. I can just behold it and go... When I'm watching television, I mean, that's how scientific it is. And the wordsmithing and the twisting and the tactics. And uh, But you're talking about Goebbels. That is good to read. I definitely want to have you back up in the near future. I want to get you up for 15, 20 minutes tomorrow. I won't keep you for 10 hours. If your cell bill's huge, uh, you know, it's 50 bucks or something, send me a bill. I'll pay for it. So I appreciate you. We were going to try to call your hotel, but you uh, got detained. And luckily, we thought to get your cell phone earlier. Uh, and I know I've been, you know, preaching at you, but but you're there, arrested twice, released again. Have they won? I mean, are you not going back now? Uh, I, uh, you know, to the Bilderberg uh, Group meeting. Uh, I mean, I guess you could go buy a hundred pound, two hundred pound digital Zoom, a little bit better Sony one that has like a fifty Zoom or something, and and, and maybe have taxis drive by and take photos. Digitals are good at that. Don't let them stop you just because they've arrested you twice. Now, that's easy to say. I I was only arrested once for 16 hours and didn't like it, or 15, 16, whatever. Um, but, so, I mean, where are you going from here? It's a good question, have they won? And, I, you know, I, partially they had today. I didn't. I was, I, I was intimidated enough not to go up to the gates of the hotel today. I was, I was well away from it when I was detained for the second time. Uh, because, and I was saying, I was, you know, I was laughing through gritted teeth with the policewoman who was going, I can't believe you're back again. And I was saying, look, I was trying not to be. I was trying not to be detained. But see, I uh, would have so told her, it's your problem. You, what is this, Nazi Germany or Soviet Russia? I mean, my, my <laughs> folks, folks, they're already censoring the Internet. They're setting that up same, the same way China phased it in. The, 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 the free speech zones, that started in Russia, then China. Listen, if you study this, Mr. Skelton, and you're there reading propaganda documents right now, that they phase this stuff in. If you're reading Goebbels' diaries, you see he talks about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, information is the is it's it's the it's the key thing, the, the holding back and or sharing of information. And you know, insofar as the internet allows a sharing of viewpoints, of differing viewpoints and of information, different information, you know, the key word being different, you know, uh, that's great. I don't know how long that, 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 that difference is going to last. And I'd like to make a serious point here, which is that, um, you know, it's very difficult to, to categorize the alternative media and people with alternative viewpoints as one thing. Whereas Bilderberg, they're sitting there and they are strategizing and they, you know, there is, there is whatever you might think is happening. Whatever you, whatever you characterize the Bilderberg meeting as, you have to agree that some strategizing, some ideas, some, some forward thinking is being done. I mean, wh whether you think it's benign, malign, whatever. So this kind of strategy... Oh, no, power these, brokers... These, 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 yeah, I know, I know. But these broad they don't get together are, are and talk about power... Sure, I know. So, so what? But you know, on the point of, from you know, you turn it around and you see what what people like you or, and uh, and other alternative voices are saying. It's very difficult to 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 strategize against that kind of serious, uh, big big money. You know, uh, strategizing that's going on on their on their side. And you know, one of the one of the difficult things is that people have differences of opinion and people disagree. I disagree with my wife about aspects of. September 11th, for example, we have different. I, I, I disagree about certain things about you know the importance of gun control, and my mind is slightly changing on that. I have to admit, but you know, we whilst we have different.